What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for some more Battle Maison Super Singles. Today we are going to be taking on battles number, I believe, 26 through 30. And of course I need to change the music, so I'll set that to battle number, or music track number 3, not battle number 3. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's choose Super Singles. We're going to be using our uh, second team. So we've got uh, Mega Metagross and Tornadus and our Assault Vest Raikou. And uh, this is where it's going to start to get a little bit dicey in this range. Now we get to start seeing some more uh, threatening things. At least I, I feel a little bit more nervous. Uh, it, it's going to get extra real once we get up to about 35 to 40 victories. If we even get that far, we may lose today. Who knows? My friends and I are part of an event where we try. I don't care. I'm just skipping over that text because I want to get right into the battle. Let's go. I'm ready to uh, finish this today, like, I'm gonna just sit down and record a whole bunch of this, and uh, hopefully it is a whole bunch, meaning that we don't lose in the next couple of minutes. So we actually have Weavile here, uh, starting things off for our opponent, and that's not good because this poops on my entire team. It's not gonna go for a dark type move, I don't think, it's gonna go for like Ice Cool Crash, Ice Punch, uh, Ice Shard, something along those lines, so I'm gonna go into Metagross here. It actually goes for Protect, which is perfect because I don't take any damage from it. And I actually think that a Bullet Punch with the Tough Claws boost is going to be enough to take this thing out. Because it is super effective, first of all. And Weavile is just so ridiculously frail. So I'm expecting this to do a lot. And uh, yeah, that actually is just an Oko, which is great to know. Because uh, Weavile really does just poop on my team. And because of that, I'm expecting to see a lot of them as we go forward. So, uh, low punnies here. I'm going to go straight for the Meteor Mash because we do outspeed this thing. And low punnies just going to go down in one hit to that. So, Mega Metagross putting in some work here. Finally not getting hacks to death, which is nice. Uh, I think this is... Uh, no, we can just go for an Earthquake here. Uh, if it is Focus Sash, we're probably going to die to a Fire Blast. Um, and it is Focus Sash. You're going to have Flamethrower, Fire Blast. Oh, it's actually going to go for the Flame Charge. Which I'm completely okay with. Uh, that actually does a lot of damage. More than I anticipated. But Houndoom actually has pretty decent uh, physical attack. I think it's like base 90 or 95. Something along those lines. It's it's usable, that's for sure. So uh, I'm going to just go for the Bullet Punch. Uh, thankfully, he did not have the Sucker Punch. And we can just take it out. So that's it for the first battle. We are 2 minutes and like 42 seconds into this, this recording. And uh, we already have one battle behind us. So that's pretty good. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, if we start seeing Focus Sash Weavile, that could be a huge issue. I have nothing on my team that outspeeds it. All I have is just the Bullet Punch with, um, with Mega Gross. I have a feeling that's going to come back to bite me later on. Oh dear. So we have Torres Valencia, and she's going to send out a Mien Shao to start things off. And that is actually a very good matchup for us, because I do outspeed... And unless this is Scarfed, of course, but I can just go for a nice Air Slash. Actually, just kidding, because we're going to get hit with a Fake Out first. And that really didn't do much at all. That did basically Life Orb damage. And we can just go for an Air Slash. And this is actually Focus Sash. What is all the Focus Sashes? They're everywhere. Uh, please don't have Stone Edge. No, you're going to just go for the High Jump Kick. That's a Resisted Hit. And it still does a lot of damage, because it is a base 130... Um, stab move from a Mien Chow, so it, of course it's going to do a lot, uh, but we are going to get some Regenerator here, as we are going to get into the red zone as well, just because of the life orb damage there, but Mien Chow is out of the way, and we get some of that HP back thanks to the Regenerator. I'm going to go into Metagross here, because uh, getting a safe switch into it is always nice, so we should be able to get off our Mega here as we see Rampardos. Now, I can just go for Meteor Mash. I do outspeed this. I don't think it's going to be Scarf. So, uh, I mean, I guess I could have gone for EQ, but I don't know if that would have killed. And, yeah, I just, I, I'm going to have to risk the miss, actually. It does outspeed me. It is Scarf, and it's going to go for the EQ, and, jeez, okay, that kind of did a lot of damage. Scarf and Pardos, alrighty then. I uh, stand corrected. Here I was, saying I didn't think it was going to be Scarf, but Meteor Mash does connect and take it out. And, uh, I mean, I could have just very easily gone into Tornadus there. Just because I knew it was going to be locked into the EQ, so I didn't have to worry about uh, Bullet Punch killing or anything. And I'll go for another Meteor Mash on this Wall Ring coming in. That does over half, and he is just going to go for the Surf that should take me out. And it does. 
I think that was just barely taking me out, actually. He's going to show the lefties, and I'm really happy he didn't go for Stockpile, because with my luck, I would have then missed the next Meteor Mash, <laughs> and then we'd be in a little bit of a pickle. But I'm going to go into Raikou, and that should be able to finish things off here, because even if he was at plus one special defense, I don't know if Thunderbolt will do less than half. I feel like that's kind of silly. But uh, yeah, the wall run's going to go down, so that is going to be it for the second battle for today. I'm sleepy all the time because of jet lag. Okay, I guess you're a little bit of a traveler. I mean, she, her, uh, her title was tourist, right? So, I guess that makes sense. So we'll collect our four battle points, which is nice. Battle 28 is next, and we will see what we run into here. When you're tired of training Pokemon, it's time to battle. That's the trick to working as a breeder. Good to know. Good to know. Career tips. Career tips from Pokemon breeder. I don't even want to try to pronounce that. Nope, not going to try. So she's going to start off with a Leafeon. I know that's Alex's favorite Pokemon of all time. <laughs> um, so we can just go for uh, an Air Slash here. And uh, Leafeon has pretty bad special defense. So yeah, it's not even going to take that. It's just an Oko. Thank you, Base Tornadus. Good stuff. So Leafeon out of the way. And uh, we're going to see Porygon 2 come out next, of course. I cannot stand Porygon 2. I re just the sight of it makes my stomach turn. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be carrying Eviolite or not. Um, do I just go for Air Slash and see how much it does? I guess. Oh, just kidding. It's going to miss, and he's going to hit me with an Ice Beam. Great. Lovely. And that just Okos. What? Was he Trace? I didn't see Trace. Maybe he was Analytic. Because I didn't see Trace. I don't think I saw Download either. He has to be Analytic. That did so much damage. I was not expecting him to be able to take me out in one hit with a non-stab move. Uh, even though I am offensive. So now I have to go into Metagross and hope that he doesn't, like, burn or paralyze me or freeze me with the Tri-Attack. Uh, and hope that Meteor Mash is a 2-hit KO. And, yeah, that can't be Eevee Light. He's just going to go for the Ice Beam. Don't you dare get a freeze! Don't you dare! Thank you. Okay, we do need to uh, hit another Meteor Mash, I think. Actually, no, I could have went for EQ. Or I could have gone. Could have gone! Why do I always say could have went? That's not good English. My English is bad sometimes. It's really bad. It's pathetic how bad it is for it being my first language. Uh, Weavile comes... I knew we were going to start seeing a lot of these Weaviles because it poops on my team. But, uh, if it's not Focus Sash, we're fine here. So I can just go for a uh, Bullet Punch. And we saw from previous experience that it does take it out. And unfortunately, it is Focus Sash. Of course it is. Perfect counter to my team. He's going to hit me with a Night Slash. That is going to... Oh! We actually live on five. We actually live on five. I thought we were going to have to absorb a hit with Raikou, but that is not the case because of what was likely a damage roll. So uh, we got a little bit lucky there. I don't think it was the end of the world. I don't think that uh, Weavile was going to be able to one-shot Raikou. I don't think. Um, although it was packing the Night Slash, which does have a high critical hit ratio. So with my luck, I probably would have uh, just got critted and just died. But who knows? If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, isn't it obvious it's for my part-time job? No, it's not obvious. Why would you think that's obvious? It's not like you're wearing a name tag or something. Sylveon is starting things off, and we probably could go right into uh, Metagross here, because a Meteor Mash will be an Oko, uh, although Air Slash could probably do a decent amount too. I don't know if that would be a 2 at KO though, so I'm just going to U-turn out. I feel like that's the safe play. Uh, the, you don't normally see hidden powers uh, in the Maison. It's just, it's not something I've seen as of yet. So I'm not too worried about like an HP fire or something coming our way. And even still, that's not going to kill me in any universe, even with a critical hit, most likely. So he's just going to go for the Moon Blast. And that kind of did a lot of damage for it being a resisted hit. But Sylveon is deceptively powerful. So we're going to make it Evolve, and we will go for a Meteor Mash. If we miss this, it's not the end of the world. Um, unless we really need Metagross for something else, in which case it might be the end of the world. But we do not miss the Meteor Mash, so uh, Sylveon is going down. Yeah, and we get the Attack Raise as well. Is that the first time I've gotten this throughout the entire series? It may have been. I don't get it very often, that's for sure. Flareon is going to come out. This does not even come close to outspeeding us. Um, so I can uh, just stay in and go for an EQ. 
Um, is it Scarf, though? That's the thing. I guess we're going to find out. I'm just going to go for the EQ. And uh, apparently it is not Scarfed, and you're just going to die to an EQ. So there you go. Flareon is out of the way. Is this an all evolution team? Espeon. Okay, yeah, it is. Sylveon, Espeon, Flareon. So I guess these... Um, the girls that have these costumes, whatever, whatever, they're, whatever their things are that they're wearing, I don't know what they're called, but those, those ladies, uh, they all have, uh, evolution teams. That's interesting. Pretty interesting. Oh, it's that word that I cannot pronounce. She just said it there. Furisode. It sounds Japanese, and I don't pronounce Japanese words worth anything. I'm terrible at it. Absolutely terrible, so I just, I don't even try. I don't even try. Uh, wow, we're actually up to the final battle of the episode already. The secret ingredient in my cooking will be your tears! Oh, man. Not even bad. This guy is, um, he's ruthless. He's absolutely ruthless. His secret ingredient is my tears. That's amazing. I don't even have a comeback for that. So he's going to lead off with Kingdra. Uh, this is probably going to go for Ice Beam. Which means I can U-turn into uh, Metagross if I wanted to. I can also U-turn into uh, Raikou because I'm not going to be taking too much from a uh, an Ice Beam from a Kingdra. Although I kind of just want to go for Air Slash because Ice Beam's not going to kill me. So I can Regenerator that off and this should be a 2 at KO, which it is. Just kidding. Oh, well, no, it's not a Citrus Berry. It's a Moranga Berry to increase his special defense. So, of course, now he's going to live another hit. And he's going to get an Ice Beam off, uh, which is not going to kill... So, uh, now we have to U-turn. Why did it have to be the special defense berry? To be fair, if it was a Pattaya berry, which increased his special attack, uh, he would have just killed me with that ice beam. So, I guess, at least we get to, uh, save... Save our, uh, Tornadus. So, I will go into Metagross here. And we should be able to take this ice beam fairly well. It's a resisted hit, and it's not stab. Yeah, that does... That only does 25 HP. That is ridiculous. I will just go for EQ here. I don't know that a bullet punch would be enough just because it's a resisted hit. And I don't think that we have to go for Zen Headbutt. Don't think that's necessary because with my luck, I will miss that. And something silly will happen. So we're just going to go for the EQ and uh, knock out the Kingdra and be on our merry way. Clawitzer is next. And another Pokemon that resists our Steel-type Stab. But we can go for Zen Headbutt here. And that is going to do a lot of damage. EQ probably is a 2 at KO, too. Um, but I don't want to risk it. I just want to go for the Zen Headbutt. And wow, that did so much. That did like 85%. And he does just go for the Crab Hammer because apparently he's physical. Physical Clawitzer. All righty, then. Um, but we're just going to finish it off with an EQ. So Clawitzer is going down. And we are in a pretty good position here as, again, with the Walrins. Why are there so many Walrins? It's like Walrin and Weavile just all over the place. Uh, Meteor Mash should be a 2 at KO, but we actually missed the first one. Thankfully, it doesn't have a stockpile or it just didn't go for it there. He goes for Hail instead. So I'm assuming he has, like, Blizzard. But Surface is a better play since it's, you know, not a resisted hit. I will go for the Meteor Mash again. We do connect on this one, and that does over 50%. We get another attack raise. This is meaningless. But... Um, Wow, especially because that Surf did way more than anticipate. That did so much damage. That did a lot. And here I was thinking, oh, the attack raise means we can just go for EQ to finish him off and not have to worry about missing a, a silly move. But, um, yeah, Surf plus Hail is going to finish us off. We can go right into our Raikou after this, and uh, we will be able to go for a nice, safe Thunderbolt, and Walrin will not be able to take that. I don't know what the item was on this. Did it show lefties? I don't know if it did. I don't know what item they typically carry. I've seen them with lefties, but I don't know what else they may have. I don't know. It doesn't matter. That's going to be it um, for this episode already as we plowed through five battles in less than 15 minutes. That's pretty crazy. Um, honestly, it was pretty smooth sailing as well. So hopefully that continues for at least a couple more episodes so we can get our streak up before we start running into some really crazy things. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a, a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, of course. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.